7 million Americans suffer from heart failure per year, with only 4,500 heart transplants. Today, there is another option. In a remarkable breakthrough, an Australian medical team has helped a 40-year-old man survive for 105 days with this titanium heart while awaiting his donor transplant. Meet Bivacor, the world's first fully artificial heart. What began as a backyard project between engineer Daniel Timms and his father, using hardware store materials, has evolved into revolutionary medical technology. The sleek, disc-shaped titanium device, roughly the size of a hockey puck and weighing about 1.4 pounds, is powered by an external controller connected through a wire in the patient's chest. During the day, the device runs on portable batteries lasting four to five hours, and at night, it plugs into a regular electrical outlet. So what makes it so special? Bivacor represents a quantum leap from earlier artificial hearts like the Jarvik 7, first implanted in patient Barney Clark back in 1982. That groundbreaking but flawed device required connection to a large external console and used flexible plastic parts, prone to causing blood clots and infections. Patients could barely move and faced serious complications. By contrast, Bivacor's intelligent system monitors blood flow and pressure, automatically adjusting its speed based on the patient's activity level, whether they're resting or exercising. This allows patients to walk, shop, and perform daily activities that were previously impossible. Before receiving Bivacor, the first patient could barely walk 50 feet without severe breathlessness. With the device, he regained mobility and independence that had seemed lost forever. The heart's titanium construction resists corrosion and provides durability, while its innovative magnetic levitation system eliminates friction that would damage blood cells in older devices. Perhaps most striking is that Bivacor doesn't produce a heartbeat. Instead, it creates a continuous blood flow, meaning patients don't feel a pulse. They hear only a faint humming sound from their new heart, essentially making them real-life cyborgs. After implantation, patients typically spend two to three weeks in hospital recovery, followed by a carefully monitored rehabilitation program. The Bivacor needs minimal maintenance, with checkups focusing mainly on the external power system rather than the implanted heart itself. The first version of the device should function reliably for at least five years, though long-term studies continue. The technology doesn't come cheap. Five Acor costs approximately $200,000, though insurance reimbursement for this procedure averages $350,000. Currently approved for clinical trials, it offers hope primarily for those with end-stage heart failure who are ineligible for transplants or stuck on long wait lists. While currently used as a temporary solution for patients awaiting transplants, Bivacor could revolutionize treatment for the 26 million people worldwide suffering from heart failure, particularly in regions with low organ donation rates. Researchers aim to make future versions smaller for pediatric patients, while engineers are developing longer-lasting batteries and wireless charging to eliminate the external power cord completely. As one heart surgeon described it, Bivacor represents a Wright Brothers moment for cardiac medicine, not just extending lives, but giving patients days worth living while they wait for a permanent solution.